Uh, hello, uh, this is Andrew. I've got a, a project going on here at the b back of my house with a retaining wall and uh, fence panels going for about 80 feet. I'm using uh, pre prefabricated panels from uh, Home Depot. They're 5 by 8s, 6 by 8s, with uh, redwood uh, tongue and groove. So what I've done, I've taken the uh, fence post, I've gone 8 foot centers on the main post. You can see there 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 gone three feet deep intermediate post I'm at 32 inch centers so all my posts are 32 inch centers all the way across the fence line at three feet deep I've taken the concrete at the post and crowned at the top so that there wouldn't be any wouldn't be any uh, earth to wood contact on the fence post you can see the terrain that we had to work with. We got a real steep slope on this side of the hill. So we had to do a little bit of metal engineering on this thing to make it work. Here's the uh, all thread that I've got coming through the wall. I'll tell you about that in a few minutes. I've got that in six locations at the main post. These, I'll pull the all thread back and I'll countersink the hole. So that when I put the nut in the washer on, it's recessed into the post, and I'll put a wood cap over the top of it to cover up the uh, cover up the bolt on each of the six locations. Yeah, we're just going to move down the line here. Whoops! You can see all the uh, all of my posts are capped and crowned with uh, with cement, so we don't have any ground contact on the wood. This is another fence section that I got. Neighbor's fence fell down. I mean, tree fell down. Broke the fence. We gotta get that fixed. So by uh, getting the new retaining wall up, I'm able to uh, backfill and level out my backyard here at the same time. Now you see the holes that I've got dug. These are on each of the post locations. These are two two to three feet deep you've got the all thread set back four feet from the from the post bent with 90 degrees with a one foot bend, bend on it i'll fill this full of fill these holes with concrete embed the uh all thread into the concrete and this will serve as a dead man for each of the posts now on each of the po each of these all thread rods i have placed a regular a regular bicycle inner tube. Just cut it and slide it onto the onto the all thread, and that'll act as a wrap for the all thread so that the elements don't get to it and corrode it over a period of time. Then you just go. We'll go ahead and put the concrete in the hole, backfill, cover it, and never see it again. These are the uh, panels that I got from Home Depot. The five by eight panels. Six by eight, I should say. And what we're doing, we're just, I've got a two by six top top plate and a two by six bottom plate. The bottom plate is just above the retaining wall, at the height of the retaining wall, so that I can anchor in to the top plate, I mean the bottom plate. You see, they've got the anchors there. And then, you'll see I've got the screws going through fence line here into the post. I'll finish that off tomorrow. So, and what I'm using for the anchor anchoring system for the panels are these GRK screws four inches long because you've got an inch and a half for the uh, for the frame and that'll give you another two and a half inches uh, two and a half inches for the frame and you got another inch and a half going into the uh, into the wood. So here we'll just take take the dirt, cover up the all thread and go up four panels and that's and that's pretty much it uh, you can see he's got a pretty good project going here with fence secondary fences going on back there I got small retaining wall here I'm gonna put a park bench I'm gonna put a wood shut off right around here and then put a park bench in here for seating I'll take this section apart Put a couple of stairs like I've got up there 
coming down here. Here I've got my septic tank and I'm going to go ahead and cover that with uh, 2 by 12s and in the center of the 2 by 12 uh, center of this location I'm going to have a lift panel to where we'll be able to just pull it back up septic company can come in and take care of the septic work they've got to do and then just drop the panel back down and cover up the septic tank and nobody will ever see it also put a uh, picnic table with a couple of chairs and an umbrella just for some seating and up above here I've got a deck that I'm setting us setting up so I can go ahead and put my hot tub at the top right about there and it's resting on two uh, concrete footings that were used for a carport in the past have got the, uh, demoed out because of the earthquake so I'm just going ahead and utilize the uh, the foundation here for the uh, for the deck and uh, this is a uh, Another deck that I put in the back a couple of years back is tied off to just I did part of the upper section and just put the new section in down below, put in a couple of doors for the new bed for the bedrooms, and that way we've got upstairs and downstairs balconies. So that's uh, that's my project, and uh, just thought I'd uh, show it to you and what I've done and what I am doing. And also the uh, the, anchor, the the dead man anchoring system that I'm using is going to eliminate any uh, type of wood contact to the ground. So usually, what will happen? People will use four by sixes or six by sixes in the ground and tie those off with another piece of wood going into the uh, into the retaining wall, hoping that'll that'll keep. But if they don't take the right precaution after time. Their wood will look like this. This is just strictly eaten away by the termites and dry rot. And you can see that that's not going to last. And this was, uh, I think this was 12 years on this fence. So, and this one, I've, I've, I took all the pressure treated lumber and added another coat of uh, wood preservative on that. And what I did, I got that at Home Depot also. And it's called... Copper green. Let's see where uh, it's here somewhere. Yeah, copper green wood preservative brown. Okay, uh, hope this helps somebody in the future. And it's a real easy process for those dead man anchors for the fence post uh, to utilize. So uh, if anybody can use that idea, just go ahead and use it. And Make sure it works. Make sure it works, and it's going to last for a while. Okay, thank you for your time, and hope you have a great day.